Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, been busy the last, uh, I don't know, 10 days or so since we made the last video. But, uh, we've been working on the, uh, sprint car. And waiting on the graphics to come in. So, we got her done. Uh, pretty freaking cool. Custom Works chassis. Um... We have uh, R1 motor, R1 ESC, um, Protect servo in here, R1 5400 milliamp battery, um, JC Concepts uh, pin tires and foams, and uh, let's see here, I mean, so far, car just came out really freaking cool, so I'm very happy with the... Uh, the way the car turned out and where it's ending up at so that's got done or it's we got it done I should say excuse me we also got ourselves a little rally to play with out there this is the new uh, edition which comes with this uh, Nice huge mumbo jumbo of plastic underneath the body. Pretty nice though, just not having the body clips kind of cool. Um, so far we have our transponder in here. We've upgraded, changed the drive shaft. We've changed the servo. And we went with our Futaba 10px receiver in here. Uh, we got an SMC battery in here. Uh, we changed the links from the plastic ones. Other than that, car's pretty much stock. We're gonna take it out, play without it at the dirt oval this weekend. See how it, uh, see how she runs. What we can do to improve it, and. Not much to say, guys. It's a Traxxas. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Traxxas. It's got these uh, posts here that slide right back into the holes. And then... It can be... Kind of a pain to get this in here sometimes because the body is not perfect but it does have very little wiggle room which is very nice and a bad thing if you flip it you might not end up uh, with the same body in the same place though because that's uh, that is uh, where the uh, plastic ends up once it gets bent you guys know how that goes so next project we're gonna work on new b7 so we're gonna put this guy together um, set it up for dirt oval so we will uh, see how it goes and how I like it um, always been a low C guy growing up switched to associated um, a couple years ago when I started drag racing um, after we got sponsored by R1 um, we, we run their cars uh, for drag um, and then we run Castle and the big cars the speed run cars um, they take good care of us over there so is R1 uh, get stuck uh, Jeff takes care of us real good um, in the get prep and then the new badass bearings, BAB bearings. Uh, we got several sets of those, and they are freaking awesome. So um, if you guys have not checked them out yet, um, they are a very, very high quality bearing and don't need as much maintenance uh, as a typical bearing so far from what I've seen. So if you guys have not seen them, badass bearings, just Google them, they'll come up. Um, if not, you can hit up uh, Billy Shaw or Tommy. Uh, 
I think um, you'll find out that they got some really, really good bearings there. All right, guys. Let's uh, open this up and see what we got here. Find our little razor blade. This is sealed. I've not opened it up yet. Just waiting to do it with you guys. Um, this is just the car. No wheels, no tires. Um, maybe it might have wheels in there. But uh, it is a new five-gear transmission, which is supposed to bring the motor farther forward um, and lower, which is leaves less real estate on the chassis for other things. But um, one of the guys that I know from Associated said they've done extent extensive testing and they really like it. So um, we got some parts. I'm not really sure what's what here. Just says bag numbers on there. Some ball bearings in there. Some A arms. A body. Won't be using that. A wing. Won't be using that. Front wing. Won't be using that. Shocks. Threaded shocks. Once again, really nice. Oil and grease. Ball links. Plastic parts. More plastic parts hub carriers there. Ball bearing diff. Aluminum chassis. And some good old instructions. Just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. You've probably already seen them. That's what she looks like. I need a cameraman is what I need. So, we're going to put the body parts in here. We will not need those. And... Get ready to start building. So, <clears throat> in our next video, we're gonna start building this. Um, if you guys have any tips, tricks for any of those experienced guys that have already built a B7, anything I need to watch out for the instruction manual, uh, drop it in the comments below. this day and age you've been very impressed with all just about every kid out there um, that comes in the everything that I've gotten this year and so far uh, late 2023 early 2024 is come in I've, it's had every single part in it so quality control is outstanding uh, R1 does an amazing job uh, custom works with the sprint car did a great job uh, perfect pass everything we get from Ross Schifrin. I mean just spot on he, he tests and looks at everything before he sh ships it out uh, Castle Creations XLX2 um, Couldn't do it without you guys for the speed run cars um, We would have been the second family to hit 200 about right behind James McCoy if it wasn't for you guys. So appreciate that um, BSR tires without those guys who wouldn't have hit 200 so if you're uh, looking to set up one of those cars double x pink or purple tires from bsr um <clears throat> scorch david appreciate you guys supporting us you know with the discount and everything else amazing products also so like i said uh, drag guys uh, you know r1 can't be beat um, we just are always and have it will be in the front um, if you guys are living in the local area, come check us out in Benton or at uh, wherever we're running this year. It's going to kind of up in the air where we're going to go yet, but uh, we will see. So, guys, keep watching. Drag races are coming up. 
uh, oval track racing is coming up. I think there's going to be some uh, street stock, some four wheel drive late model, some uh, definitely Mud Boss um, videos that we'll be posting. So as we learn more and more about oval racing on dirt, we'll help you guys learn too. So um, keep watching, and if you guys have anything that you'd like to see, drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching.